Hey there folks, welcome to the Amazing Brick Network. My name's Tori Favreau and I certainly hope that this finds you well. Before we get into all the new Lego, make sure that you are in the 2K subscriber giveaway where you can win this Lego Harry Potter book. Let's get straight into it. First up, we've got the NASA Space Shuttle Discovery. This set looks absolutely fabulous. It weighs in at a huge 2,354 pieces. Also, we're looking in Australian dollars, but it will be a $300 set. This looks utterly stunning, and for fans of any sort of space exploration, this set is most certainly a must-have, and I am sure that no one no one could disagree with that. I love how everything is put together so well. And even the Hubble being a part of the set lifting out with its the shuttle's payload delivery system. This is absolutely beautiful to see. And I am beyond excited for when this comes out, which will be from memory on April the 1st. So we've got plenty of time to plan for it, <laughs> like a whole week. But um, it is going to be nothing short of beautiful. Check out the details on this. Even the telescopic arm that comes up for the Hubble. I This would have taken forever. I, I was actually a bit gobsmacked there. And I, I do love the general detail throughout. So this is an absolute triumph. And I do hope that you guys will let me know if you'd purchase this set yourselves just comment below that would be fantastic and also please don't forget to subscribe to the channel it does mean the world to me and it certainly does help us promote the channel and get it out there just a little bit more what we're trying to do in the world of lego the amazing brick network um, is a huge endeavor primarily taking place on facebook where there are so many groups but there's at least 130,000 members who do show their lego on the regular and we feature it on this show here is the rear box art for that set cannot wait for this to come out great work lego thank you so very much superhero fans this is spider-man attack on the spider let it is available right now now it is huge and i must admit though it does sort of remind me a great deal of the iron man sets that have come out like where you've got all the different iron man armor that is available so it is a very repetitive kind of theme however i must admit i am absolutely loving the different spider suits that are available on the set i think that's really cool you've also got venom there and uh, looks as though in the prison environment you do have the green goblin as well these look super cool they are from different parts of spider-man's career and i do think that the pictures look really neat we've got a basketball launcher here You've got to remember that Spider-Man's always sort of been that fun superhero. So there will be areas that don't take themselves quite as seriously as you may have, for example, in an Iron Man area. But there are a lot of similarities. There's the rear box packaging for you. And if you are getting this, I would love to know what your thoughts are. Star Wars fans, this is super cool. AT-AT versus Tauntaun Micro Fighters. Now... The thing I don't get here, though, is that the AT-AT is a massive, massive, uh, you know, robotic walker, whereas your Tauntaun is actually a living creature, yet they're on the same scale, I guess, for some sort of epic battle to take place. And, of course, you've got some of my favourite characters there, being, you know, the Rebel Snow Soldier and, of course, the um, AT-AT driver. These, from memory, do not look as though they're that different, though the Rebel... Um, soldier there he does look as though he's got some thermals on underneath the helmet and that is different as far as i remember i don't have any minifigures that do have that thermal face covering on there as well that would be worth exploring in case i'm wrong please don't hesitate to let me know i'm happy to be corrected I personally just bought this set recently, so you will see it on the show. The Creator 3-in-1 Safari Wildlife Treehouse. It's a cute little set. It wasn't too expensive. It is packed with detail, as the 3-in-1s often are. And I don't know why, but it's just the, the different colours and the warm tone of the cabin, or in the treehouse there, is absolutely cool. And it looks like the minifigures themselves are having an absolute ball as well. 
As always, these sets do feature those three-in-one options for building, so you can have fun with this set in so many different ways, and it will be an absolute ball for the kids to play with as well. And like even the catamaran they're just randomly put together looks utterly stunning. I am so keen to build the tree house like that. I think it is super cool. The giraffe is really cute. I do like those brick-built animals, though I am a massive fan of mini figures and the mini animals, like you know the the properly made ones. Um, but the brick built there looks like a lot of fun and I am sure that people are going to have an absolute ball playing with this set when you do get it. It retails between 39 to 49 Australian dollars. I was lucky to pick it up at a local Kmart for 39 dollars just to give you an idea of pricing there. Check that out. Like you can the plane, catamaran, there's some really clever people putting these sets together and figuring out what you can do with a set amount of bricks. I do adore it. I think it's really, really clever. And it's a credit to the amazing modelers there at Lego. Here's the rear of that pack for you. And uh, once again, please do let us know if you do pick up this set. Brand new from Disney, Raya and the Heart Palace. Now, um, this is Raya the Last Dragon. And I have not seen this movie yet. Apparently, it's available on uh, Disney Plus um, for rental. Uh, so, as always, Disney do make stunning sets here. This looks like it is based more off, when it comes to Lego, more off the Lego Friends scenario here with the look of the figures themselves. Unfortunately, not having seen the movie, I don't know who these figures are, but they do look really cool. That cat-looking creature looks pretty cute, and I do love the haircut there on that minifigure. She looks pretty feisty and looks as though she's ready to get stuck straight into it. All things said and done, beautiful colours being used on this set. It is packed full of detail. I do think that it does offer and enable a lot of play features and functionality. And that dragon looking creature there, which I'm guessing might be Raya, unless that's the girl's name, does look pretty neat as well. So stay tuned for that, fans of LEGO. Um, that is one that does look really cool. And I do think that it would be a lot of fun. I just wish I knew who the characters were a little more. I have not had the opportunity to see this movie. And I probably won't for a while, to be honest with you. It's not my cup of tea. I will see it at some stage, though, because Disney do put out really good quality movies. Getting ready for that final look there at some of the other creatures and, and characters. Um, there for Lego Friends style doll figures they look super cool and so does the back of the pack so let's keep on moving we're going to be having a look at the brand new lego minecraft set right now and it is available um, this is the first adventure and one of the things i do like about the minecraft sets even though this one does retail for about the hundred dollar mark as a rule you do get very good value for money there are a lot of bricks in these sets and so you do get that play factor that's for sure details abound if you think about what happens in the minecraft universe and uh, this will work really really well with other minecraft sets that you may have purchased so it's certainly well worth it getting into this and making the most of your minecraft while building upon steve's world and acting out your own adventures too this is just a lot of fun there's a lot of play functionality uh, things will happen here that do make, you know, the, like the water cascade effect and also just moving things around just to change them up a little. I really, really like this, guys. I think, Lego, you've done a superior job as always with this particular franchise, so thank you. Jumping into the world of Technic now. This was really well priced. So this is the Jeep Wrangler and 665 pieces. And this is like, I think, an $80 set when we're speaking Australian dollars. So that's well and truly worth your money. There is stacks of bricks here. It fits together really nicely. I can't wait to see this like being mocked by uh, builders. I think that this certainly lends itself to that. But if you just want a straight up Wrangler, even with the uh, tow kit there, this is a great looking set. And I cannot wait just to see people playing with this set or it being part of their wonderful vehicle collections because it's on point packed with detail i'd give this one the big thumbs up even though i'm not normally a vehicle guy as anyone who's watched the show for a while would be aware of but this totally just shines brightly and i think it is just a wonderful set that will provide a challenging build for you guys out there but also will provide a lot of play fun should you be inclined to be the sort of person to drive this one around. Thank you so much for watching. Now, tomorrow I am putting up another show with the other new sets, but I thought this is a great start. You can jump onto Lego and start getting ready to expand upon your collection. As always, thank you so much for watching. You guys are what makes this show. 
please subscribe, give us a follow. We've got several giveaways underway at the moment, including a wonderful Trix Bricks giveaway that I'm doing, and also at the 2000 subscriber point, the Lego Harry Potter book. Have a look through the videos if you like. They're all clearly labeled, so you'll be able to see which ones you can go in to possibly win a prize. Until next time, happy building, guys.